But when I was beginning to work with people in the early days, I paid very close attention to what people said. And it became a habit with me, and I still do. I listen to what people say more than, you know, the words they're using and everything. And I so often I think, oh, if you just wouldn't use those words, if you just take those three words out of your vocabulary, because people use uh, negative words a lot, same ones over and over again. Uh, yes, I hear words much more than others people. Well, should to begin with. That, that's a, a big one. <laughs> Because it, every time you say should, you're making yourself wrong. Either you were wrong or you are wrong or you're going to be wrong. So take that one out completely. And just a lot of negative expressions that people use. I'm not good enough or this will never work or oh, it's a rotten day. Or no, there's just tons of expressions and we use them over and over again. And they don't do us any good at all. Every word we speak is creating our future. So we have to be careful about what we say and think and, and resentment and, you know, going all grunging, as I call it, going over and over and over those past difficulties. They don't do anything but attract more difficulties to you because I see life as a boomerang. Like what you give out comes back to you. And this happens over and over and over again. With a boomerang, whenever you toss it out, it comes back. And if you toss it again, it will come back. So it's the same thing with our thinking and our speaking. It's very important to be appreciative of life and to express gratitude. The universe loves gratitude. And the more grateful you are, the more things you have to be grateful about. And when I say things, I don't mean objects necessarily, but just you improve the quality of your life enormously. What good is a nice car if you are full of resentment all the time and you drive around hating everybody? That's not going to help anything. It's much better if you had an old car and you were grateful and, and appreciative of life. And I also think it's extremely important that you love and appreciate who you are. Too many of us have grown up believing that we're really not good enough or we're not worthy, or we're not, we don't deserve. And, you know, we are divine, magnificent expressions of life, and we have to know that and, and experience it and rejoice in it. One of the things I tell people to do a lot is to go to the mirror, especially first thing in the morning before you brush your teeth or anything, and look in the mirror and just say, I love you. I really, really love you and start connecting with that inner child that's inside. A little kid who's probably been pushed away for a long time. And when you do that, it's amazing how miracles seem to happen. Love who you are and be very grateful for life and very appreciative. Say thank you a lot. I say thank you many, many, many times of the day. Often not to anyone else. I just, you know, oh, so wonderful, thank you. And it's, uh, you know, you find more and more things to be thankful about. We were, I was driving up today from uh, San Diego and the, the wildflowers on the hillsides are just beautiful this year. And I was thinking, I was so glad that I had the opportunity to see them. Because if I stayed down there, I wouldn't have with this drive, which was, you know, not a drive I particularly wanted to make, but it was gorgeous. Now, I'll tell you something that I love people to get if they can. When we have a problem, most of us go, oh, panic, panic, God, what are we going to do, blah, 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 blah. But I have something that I try to get people to say. The minute there's a problem, you stop and you go, all is well. All is well. Everything's working out for my highest good. And out of this experience, only good will come. And I am safe. And you do this, if it's a small thing, I say it two or three times. If it's a bigger issue, I babble it incessantly. But all is well, everything is working out for my highest good. Out of this situation, only good will come, and I am safe. Now this gives, this quiets your inner turmoil down long enough for the universe to find the solution to the so-called problem. See, when there's problems, we don't have to fix problems so much. We need to fix our thinking and our attitude about how we respond to it. And then you get less and less. And when, and when the solution comes, you say thank you. 
I am not a salesperson. I am a teacher, and I work with people who come to me who want to learn to change their lives. I remember when I first heard that if I was willing to change my thinking, I could change my life. It was like a, a, a revelation happened. And I thought, oh my goodness. And then I, I just spent all my time trying to find out how to do that. It sounded so wonderful. And there are other people who will never be interested. Maybe next lifetime, or the one after that. Well, I have come to realize it boils down to choosing the thoughts you think and choosing the foods you eat. And when you can be wise in both areas, you have perfect health. Because the body knows how to take care of itself. But not if you give it a lot of junk. And not if you give yourself a lot of junk thoughts. So it's, it's a clearing, it's clearing the weeds from the area, from the mind and from the soil. Life loves you, life really loves you. But if you don't love yourself, it's very hard for life to bring you the goodies because you've got this wall up. So when you can learn to love who you are, and that's the way you were born, when you were a little tiny baby, and when I say you, I mean everybody listening to this, <laughs> uh, we all adored ourselves. We loved our bodies. We loved every part of ourselves. And then we started to listen to other people who told us we weren't good enough or we didn't do it right or no, no, no. And so we decided that maybe we weren't very good. And that's where we get all mixed up. But when we can get back to that point of just adoring this marvelous critter in here, <laughs> uh, then life says, oh, they've, she's got it, she's got it, let's give her goodies. And then the next step is to be very grateful about it. When you're really grateful, then they want to give you more. Everybody's journey is individual because we start from different places. So we can't all be having the same journey. But I think we get, we all get certain ahas. And that's when we've sort of learned something. We say, oh, okay. And then if we can keep that, what we've learned, and practice it, then we've made another step and we can move forward. Um, it's a lifetime journey, and we never stop learning. <laughs>